Welcome everyone to another Pokemon Go episode. In this episode, we'll be doing a massive evolution session. I'm wearing my uh, Snorlax shirt. I should get uh, another Pokemon Go shirt or or, or something else. Uh, you guys can give me some ideas or where 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 I should purchase them. I was actually thinking about buying some Silk Road shirts. Um, where you can let me know uh, where where I should get my shirts for these videos. So just a little quick recap. I'm 141,000 into level 36. Uh, I think I hit level 36 on Friday or Thursday. I can't remember exactly when. Actually, I'm gonna mute that. Um, let's see, actually. Uh, leveling up to level 36, when was that? Sorry, I'm just checking my video. It was um, November 11th, which was uh, two days ago, uh, which was the, the Friday then. So. Uh, 141,000 in so I'm doing a decent pace. I'm gonna be doing massive evolution session now Obviously, that's why you're watching this video and the title of the video and I'll be a, hopefully at like 270 no, 210 211 something like that. We'll see and then I'm probably gonna do another evolution session tomorrow Off-camera just doing all my Pidgeys Weedles all that stuff. I have enough cool evolutions uh, to do, actually, I think it was Spooner 2K or Spoon 2K told me about the XQ Nest in uh, at Ajax, and Ajax is a city just outside Toronto, uh, and uh, it was crazy. Like uh, I think I got 30 executes in like an hour and a half, or like two hours or something like that. So if I can see it here, my candies are now at 308, which is a lot. Not enough for. I do need to go back a few more times, uh, but Ajax Waterfront, really cool spot. If you want to check it out, um, definitely go if, you, if you're in and around the greater Toronto area. So, 141,000 in. I think we're just going to get started uh, on this lucky egg. Let me just put the timer up, and then I'm actually going to put the timer up here, actually. And then let's go. So we're gonna start off with, let's see here, we're gonna not do the Pidgey's Weedles. We'll start off with these silly Spearows. Let's evolve this. Perfect. So we're... Spiro. We'll do some cooler ones in a little bit. Spiro. So hopefully by December 11th, I'll be at level 37, which is kind of nuts. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of, and hopefully around, around then, or hopefully like what I did for my last million evolution video, um, actually hit uh, level a uh, level up in the video and uh, level up in the video and then um, uh, and actually be able to use that level so I can get a uh, get a uh, more more higher CP on my Pokemon let's see here switch way body slam let's go down here I think we have this Vulpix pretty big Vulpix I think I caught this one in Ajax as well. Yeah, so I have two very consequential evolutions and some like minor consequential ones, which are mostly the Eevees. Um, I do have some cool stuff to show, which I won't be evolving, but something to at least take a look at. Hopefully I don't get Faint Attack again, because I've been getting that uh, quite a bit. Oh, Ember, he uh, Heat Wave, oh, okay. Let's hope we can get Fire Blast. Let's just make sure. Camera's still going, perfect it is. I've had a couple videos where it's cut out. Obviously, if you've been following my channel, um, hasn't happened for a while. Mostly because I make sure that I was constantly watch, watch the photo or videography or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's do some of these pairs. Hopefully get Bug Bite Solar Beam, even though I think I have a big enough team already uh, for it. Pairs. Yeah, the Ajax is just amazing. Like, 
I haven't been to Ajax in a little while, um, but so it was really cool to go back. It was cool to, you know, I went with uh, three of three of my very close Pokemon. I would say my closest Pokemon Go friends, and uh, we um, just chased down executes in, in Ajax, and uh, there were just so many, like unbelievable, like. To get this much candy would have taken me like blah blah blah. blah. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, I have this 96 level 30 venom venonat, so it's pretty big. So hopefully, it gets uh, bug bite, bug buzz. I think is the ideal move set. Let's see here. We're gonna do a few more uh, confusion bug buzz. It's okay. Um, really, you only like obviously there's good defensive. There's the best defensive move set for things like Venonats or, or Parasex or or Paris or all these other Pokemon or even uh, Hypno is actually okay. Um, or like Kingler or whatnot. But like you're not really gonna put them in gyms to have them last any manner. Not that. Um, any gym really lasts that long anymore. There's very few level 10 gyms that I've noticed that, that are around, so that's ultimately also, also the factor in as well. Oh, bug bite buzz buzz, nice. So there's a couple more of these, and then we'll move on to Diglett, Meowth, Psyduck, Mankey. I'm getting closer to my fighting metal. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna get my fighting metal first, or or my um, my ice metal. I do have a um, Machop nest um, at Jacqueline Ferry Terminal, which is south of here. Uh, oh, there's a little bit of leg. Uh, that could I guess I could just go down there, like once a day, pick up two or three Machops, and then by the tenth day or well, I'll check my medals after 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 we do this evolution session. I have a lot of. Okay, at some point in time, uh, my camera went off during this uh, massive evolution session. So there's maybe, uh, I might skip, I might fast forward up until the part where we're, we're back in business. And I was just talking about how, um, how I haven't lost footage in a little while. So a little bit embarrassing uh, to be perfectly honest. I guess I always have to have my camera up. So I can see it. That was weird, though. That was weird. I don't know why I did that. Um, what did I talk about? Um, hopefully hit level. Oh, uh, I ice or fighting metal. I'm. I have three medals left. That I need to get from uh, like Pokemon type caught, which is steel, which I'm a long way from. Uh, fire and ice, which I'm both decently close, less than fifty uh, away from actually doing so hopefully I'm not sure which one I'm gonna get first um, there is a Machop nest uh, south of me at Jack Lane Fair Terminal like if I went there before work caught one or two Machops and then went there after work uh, and caught one or two Machops then in say for example on average I get three Machops a day then I would uh, I don't know I clicked on that because I know there's a lot more let's do this Mankey so I'll add one more for this Mankey uh, the next one is going to be the really consequential one, which is going to be a 98% Growlithe. Insane. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's one in three chance I'm going to get Bulldoze. And if I do, it'll be terribly upset. I will be terribly upset. Cry. Okay, right here we go. 98. Let's go. Let's go. Please. I'll even take Flamethrower. I'll take Flamethrower. Um... And power it up. And then I'll also power up my other one with, with uh, Fire Blast. Just don't give me bulldoze. Don't give me bulldoze. Don't give me bulldoze. Don't give me. Oh, Fire Fang, Fire Blast. Okay. No, Fire Fang, Flamethrower. Not Fire Blast. That's not bad. 
that's not bad. I'm gonna power that one up for sure. Uh, my other my other three friends who caught that ninety eight percent, or three of my four friends that, or three of my friends that caught it, um, all got bulldoze. So I was actually super worried that I was gonna get bulldoze as well. But fire fang, fire blast, both fire moves, uh, moves not bad. And again, I have hundred percent polywag. So normally I would wall these polywags all the way polywrath, but I'm just doing it uh, for the XP. Um, yeah. And then my stretch goal for this year, which I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do, is to get to level 38 by the end of the year. If I can, that would be amazing because um, that's, uh, that's a lot of experience. That's uh, was that um, four and a half million experience in like, like 60 days, less than 60 days, like 50 days. Uh, what is there left? 17 days left in this month plus 31, less than 50 days. 47 days, oh, that's a lot, that's a lot. Maybe more than I can do. We'll see. That'll be my stretch goal. Obviously, I'm gonna have some time off when it gets to the holiday season, so that's really gonna be the accelerated portion. So basically, I would have to do two and a half million in about 20 days, Ooh, which is a lot. Um, get, I also have like holiday commitments and all that stuff, so we'll see, we'll see. Um, let's see here. How are we doing on timer? I kind of wish I didn't. We're at 10 minutes, so we're good there. And we're just plugging away. So, good. One, one evolve was good. Obviously, I would have liked Fire Blast better, but Flamethrower I'll take as well. Do a few more of these. Just uh, get the candy. Actually, I need to save a little bit of candy so I can power up my my polyrath. Polyrath. Let me know. Um, uh, unfortunately, my last two live streams have been okay, uh, but they haven't been as long as uh, no last two scheduled live streams. Obviously, I did that impromptu one. Leveling up to level 36, which I think was cool. I did a lot of cool evolutions in that video, which I thought was interesting. And uh, we did um, we did uh, execute in in Growlithe, and we got uh, the perfect move sets on both of them from my attacking point of view. Okay, this is the last one I'll do. Then I'll move on to uh, what do we have next? We have Tentacool and Slowpoke. I had, I caught 100% Slowpoke, but I'm gonna save that save that for Slow King uh, because uh, Tentacool. Not tentacle. Slowpoke has a dual evolution in Gen 2. So let's go down. Uh, tentacle. We have a bunch of Eevees that we need to do as well. So I'm not going to do the Slowpoke that's 100% um, because I'm going to save that sort of for Slow King. Because I already have like some pretty good slow, slow bros already. So I'm just going to leave it. Leave it as is. Oh, those are not so bad. So you can see here, one hundred percent. I called it Slow King, um, with my version of the spelling of, of of Slow King. So I thought that was that was clever. And then we're gonna do Magmites, which Magmites are gonna be good. Gonna be good for my Steel Metal. Super far from my Steel Metal. Hopefully, I can complete it this year. If I keep going back to Ajax, definitely have the opportunity to complete it. Definitely have the opportunity to complete it if I do. Magneton. Thundershock Discharge. I think that's actually a good move set for a Magnemite. Let's actually take a look at our. Sorry if there's some noise here. Arcanine. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh. No, no, my game froze. Of course, oh, that was weird. Um, are we doing a time? We are at 13 minutes. Let's see, flamethrower should be not that bad. And plus, you can dodge better with flamethrower. So, it's not bad. Um, generally, doesn't have the same DPS as. 
do these dual duos. I don't do a lot of dual duo evolution, so this is kind of neat, at least for me. Uh, da -da. Yeah, obviously the the uh, level the gyms being taken down no no the gyms being taken down a lot easier is good. Uh, but it's also bad for my videos because there's gonna be fewer level 10 gyms there's much fewer like i don't think i've seen a level 10 gym uh since two days after or since two days after the gym meta changed because all the level 10 gyms around my area and everywhere i've been have been uh taken down even even in different cities i've visited the seal to do gong will be good for my ice metal so i should be able to hit ice in fighting Hopefully this month, um, I think I can. Especially if I follow that plan of getting uh, some chops uh, in the morning and then after work, but we'll see. Let's see here, the shelter will be good for my ice metal as well, because it involves cloister. Really, I think the only ice Pokemon in this gen is um, Lapras, obviously. Uh, cloister, Dugong, and um, Jinx. So every time I see Jinx, I just make sure I put all my effort to, to catch Jinx, um, which I encourage you guys to do as well, because then it makes it easier to um, to catch Lapras, which is ultimately one of the one of the top three Pokemon. So we're about halfway, and I have what I have: uh, Ghastly, Drowsy, Krabby, Voltor, Execute. Uh, so let's do. We're halfway, let's do five. Yeah, let's do five. Let's work away this ghastly candy that a lot of them I got from the double candy period uh, during the Halloween event. Um, so what, what did you guys think of the the event like bonuses? Obviously, some people would like, like incubators or, or lure modules. Um, and that would be nice for sure, uh, but I don't know if they're gonna give it that easily, at least on like a weekly basis to that many players. Um, I'm curious what the if they're gonna do an event for like American Thanksgiving. I call it American Thanksgiving because I'm Canadian and we have like Canadian Thanksgiving, so it just makes it easier to differentiate uh, between the two. Uh, and Niantic is a, a like an American company, obviously, um, with Google in in America and. Then, uh, the Pokemon like Pokemon company and Nintendo in Japan uh, but it is an American company and Thanksgiving is a huge holiday in the US they take several days off or or schedule holidays around it's a, it's a kind of a neat spectacle to see so I'm curious on whether or not they're gonna do anything around that um, but we'll see um, yeah we'll, we'll we'll see we'll see what they what they do obviously I, I do think they're for sure gonna do something around the, the December holiday obviously the big holiday is, is Christmas but there's also you know uh, different holidays that that, that, uh, that appear around there so it's a very festive time of year for most parts of the world so it'd be like it seems like it'd be a good idea to to have a like a good event there as well but you guys can let me know what you think that they're gonna do for for the holiday event. Uh, whether it's later this month or or uh, or next month or both or both probably both but we'll see uh, so because we did ghastly let's do it's always welcome cousin drowsy uh, so let me know what you guys think of that like what kind of event would you want to see uh, what kind of bonuses do you want to see have you guys been getting your daily bonus um, uh, obviously, you have to play every day, but it's not too high of a threshold, uh, you know, to catch one Pokemon. Um, obviously, that's for one type of bonus, and then spin one stop, which is another type of bonus. Um, the spin stop thing is cool, obviously, extra items, but usually I spend enough stops, so it's not too big a deal for me. But obviously, if you live in a rural area or you're not able to encounter many stops, then those uh, uh, couple, I don't know why I can't say, couple extra items is going to make a really big deal for sure. So that's cool. For sure. So I have 100% Hypno already that I evolved from 100% Drowsy. 
I have a hundred percent Slowpoke. I have a hundred percent Lickitung. A hundred percent Starmie. Um, I think Slowpoke is actually probably the best one that I have because obviously it evolves into Slowbro or Slowking. Both decent Pokemon uh, for sure. Uh, let's see here. We'll do a couple Krabbies. Um, let's see what we're doing at a time. We're about just short of 19 minutes into our egg. Again, I apologize for, for the camera issues. And I was just talking about uh, how how I haven't messed up the camera issues in a little while. So maybe a bit of karma for overestimating my abilities. So let's do this here. It's good to get some of this candy actually out of the way because I've been normally I don't get this far down the list because obviously I do too many uh, Pidgeys and Weedles. So I have some Goldeens. So I'm gonna do this is the last crappy I'm gonna do. Then I have some Goldeens that I want to get rid of and Starmies because I don't spend as much time uh, near the harbor front uh, anymore um, because the XP is not as good or there's not. I already have. Uh, I don't want to say I have enough Dratini candy uh, because can you really have enough uh, but I'm definitely near that limit I have like 600 almost 700 candy left over and I only have like four 3k nights uh, in my opinion I, I don't like go out and slot or like put Pokemon in a lot of gyms so I only need a really a couple Pokemon to go and attack a gym which is like what I prefer to do so let's go do Voltorbs actually and then we'll do the some consequential ones, uh, which is execute, which uh, obviously has a much uh, lower probability of being a good result. I even take um, Zen Headbutt Seed Bomb, but I don't want like Psychic is like not a bad one, but like I'm mostly going to use it as a counter to to Vaporeon, so I prefer not to get double Psychic moves. Uh, but obviously, there's a chance that that could happen. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Let's see, we have about nine minutes left, so let's let's get to the executes. I already have one with the perfect attack move set, so be kind of fussed if, uh, but not terribly. Please, Zen headbutt. Solar beam. Oh man, if I get this, it will be amazing. Let's see. Confusion seed bomb. Ah, no. That's not good. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. It was um, you know, I guess confusion seed bomb is the best defensive. Uh, move set. Let's see here. Uh, Utor best defensive move set. Let's take a look at it. Let's see what the interwebs say. Uh, I'm not sure this, this database will have it. Let's do some horsies while I research best defensive move set. Mm. I don't know. Uh, they're saying confusion. Let's see here. I should say some horsey candy for. Okay, they're saying confusion psychic is the best, followed by confusion seed bomb. And then I don't know why I had a confusion seed bomb listed twice, but whatever. Uh, that's ninety-seven percent of what confusion psychic does. So okay. That's not bad. Um, put it in a gym, I suppose, at some point in time. So I'm gonna max out my attacker first, then max out my defender. Similar to my Lapras, I suppose, uh, where I have one defensive Lapras and one attacker Lapras, one of the best defensive moveset, one of the best attack moveset. So that's not terrible. If it was like Zen Headbutt, like Seed Bomb, that's okay actually. Uh, but I'm just glad it's not Zen Headbutt. Um, Let's see here. Make sure my like Zen headbutt, 
psychic. Uh, I guess that's like there's not really a bad move set. Um, like even when I take a look here at this website, uh, game info. They say. Uh, Oh, shoot, uh, I should be paying attention to my evolutions. They say, um, uh, where, where is this? Where we're at six minutes left on this egg. Oh, we're okay. Oh, sorry, yeah, it's right here. I had the it's confusing because I had the Pokemon Go logo there, so I was avoiding it for whatever reason. So, this is a 98% Goldeen, not that. I, you know, seeing matters any bit. Uh, but they say here that even uh, anything Zen Headbutt um, is the worst one's like 91% of it. Uh, so that's that's not bad. 91% of Zen Headbutt Solar Beam. Um, unfortunately, Confusion Solar Beam is only 90% of, of that. And then um, they're even saying Confusion Solar Beam is 97%. So I have another one of that as well. So I have two defensive ones. Um, and I have like Zen Headbutt Psychic, uh, which is good. Uh, could be a good defensive one. So there's not really any like bad moveset uh, with uh, Executor. So I have a bunch of options. So I'm gonna need a bunch of, uh, of uh, Execute Candy. Let's see here, we have about five minutes left. Let's do two, let's do three Star Use, and that'll be me about like four minutes left. Um, and then we'll move on to, oh, well, actually, let's do, let's do a few of them. Um, let's see here. Oh no, that's the wrong one. Yeah, so not really any bad option with Executor, which is nice. Um, obviously, getting the best move set is, is, is ideal, um, but I can also live with uh, like non best move, move sets as long as I have like. For me, I always want the attacker, best attacking moveset, at least on one of my Pokemon that are key. So obviously, uh, Dragonite, uh, but even Dragonite, like Dragon Claw, Hyper Beam is what I use most of the time because those are my higher IV Dragonites. My my three is high IV Dragonites. Um, so I find that not bad, or actually very good. Yeah, I find that that, uh, that very good. Um, and so obviously Dragonite, Vaporeon, that's why I like Hydro Pump a lot. Um, I just don't like Water Pulse, but Water Pulse is not bad. It's a good defensive moveset. Um, I just don't like put Pokemon in a lot of gyms, so it's not really, it doesn't really matter a lot to me. But something you may want to think about um, when you're thinking about uh, how good the moveset is, whether it's for defense or whether it's for offense. And then, uh, so obviously Dragonite, Vaporeon, Arcanine. Uh, I can live with Flamethrower. Um, yeah, I think fl with Flamethrower is good. Oh, I don't want to keep clicking that game. Let's see how much left time we have left on right. Okay, I can think I can go down and do the EVs. I do have a bunch of the EVs uh, that I can do. And then, yeah, I should, should reach... Um, yeah, hopefully 37, it's, it's a big number. It's a big number. Uh, let's go down, I don't have any magic curve that I wanna do. I should go out, so it's 880 EV. I don't think the IVs were good on it. It's pretty low, but it's already level 31. So if I get Vaporeon, that's great. Even I get Jolteon, that's not bad. I already have a good Jolteon, so uh, yeah, Flareon's okay. Flareon's okay as long as they get obviously I'll get Ember. Fire Blast, that's not bad. 2100. Yeah, 876 EV. So I've encountered a lot of really big EVs uh, lately. Uh, we have about three minutes left on our egg, so uh, at most nine EVs. At most, uh, probably, no, not nine EVs. We have two minutes left. Uh, no, I don't want that. It's a Jolteon, uh, Discharge, uh, so no, the Fire Blast one was, wasn't that bad. I'll, I'll keep it for sure. We want Vaporeon, Hydro Pump. 
Vaporeon? Okay. Okay. I guess I've been getting a lot of Vaporeons lately, so this is kind of Retribution, I suppose. Ember Fire Blast. Okay, good moveset. Um, so only only evolve above uh, uh, 800 CP and above uh, EVs. If they have... Uh, actually, I didn't check all the... This, okay, so we got Vaporeon. Okay, so we completed the trio. Hopefully we get... A hydro pop, nice, very nice. I'll have to rename that. 833. We have a one minute left on our egg, so hopefully we can do two more after this, or maybe three if I can squeeze it in. Vaporeon, back to back Vaporeons. Very nice, very nice. I can all probably do two more. Let's see here. Water pulse, that's okay. Um, let's see if we can fit on. Definitely fit two more in. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit three more in. It's only one seconds for this animation. There's about 30 seconds left or so, 26 seconds left. Uh, so if I'm quick, Flareon. No, I want to be able to fit one more in, and that's gonna be. Uh, they're both 89%. So we'll see. I just want this army of Vaporeons uh, because I do keep all these, all my 2K Snorlaxes. Uh, mostly because um, you know, one day I'm gonna I will slot them in gems. But if I have a whole team of Vaporeons that have around this like higher CP, like 2300 uh, Thunder Shock, that's not bad. That's pretty good. So what do you get? 73. That's not bad. That's not bad. Obviously, my game lagged a little bit, and um, usually I'm a little quicker off off camera. Uh, but that's. We're at 210, uh, 214,000, so we're a little over 10% of the way there. And it's been three of three of 28 days, so that's we're right on pace. I have, I have another Evolve session that I'll probably do tomorrow. Um, hopefully, by next Massive Evolution video, I'll be at, I don't know, like 700,000. We'll see. We'll see, 700,000. It's not too bad. Obviously, I'm digging deep into my candies. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, so thank you for watching. And I look forward to posting more Pokemon Go content. Thank you, and have a good day or night.